Greetings, performance reviews where I give you the review from the technician's point of view. And today we're going to be taking care of a rug doctor. You have a rug doctor and it has cracked connections there and you tried to fix it yourself. Well, one, just bring it to an authorized service center. But today we are going to change this. You can consider this a how-to, but I'm not liable if you break anything. And really, this is more just showing the process and trying to encourage you to go to your authorized service center. Start by pulling off the screws. Now these screws are not magnetic, they're stainless steel due to the nature of this being a water pickup machine. So keep track of them while you're pulling them off, otherwise they're just gonna fly off. And also, this is kind of like a big, heavy, bulky machine. Aware that as you're working with it, you have to move it around quite a bit. Now, for simplicity's sake, we're just gonna cut these. We'll talk about how we deal with that in a minute. But there is a parts kit. This right here, it's a, uh, Hoseless hood retrofit kit. So, kit comes with all the instructions, all that good shit. And now we got these guys. And what it does basically is put these here and the flapper is gonna go like this on there. So we'll get those taken care of here in a minute. Put those back in the bag. Until then, we have hoses to deal with. And these are gonna come apart, kinda. You just gotta be a savage about it. And they will just unclip like so. Anyways, don't worry about these. If you're changing them out. The new part has the clips on them. One side is A, one side is B. You don't need to be gentle with anything. It's a rug doctor. But there are these clamps here. And they'll come apart like so. Yeah, there we go. And now we have two different hoses. And I think you'll see where the short one goes versus the long one. to show it but you can see there's a zip tie right there holding that sucker in at least it's supposed to hold it in and usually weasel it out so the long hose as you can see there's silicone in there that will go in in here give it a quick bris and then you can pull the zip tie out and i prefer ge silicone too i'll put a link below to that that will benefit the channel if you want to help us out. So the one side, now we got to change this side. As you can see, there's a little bit more silicone. It goes in the trash. And you're gonna, you're gonna put this in and you're gonna thread it in like so. It's actually the next day I took the uh, opportunity to wash some of the pieces. Now, as we put this big Bama Jama back together, the thing you need to be worried about is these and which way they are oriented. But to make matters more fun, you can't worry about these until you have the cover on. And again, you have a side A and a side B, and they're nicely marked, and you put them uh, that way up. So just be aware of that when you're doing this. And again, it's marked A and B right there for you. Hopefully that will help you. Now, let's go ahead and grab. This will slide in here. That's as good as that needs to be. But as we're sliding in, and it's important when you're sliding this in, you grab it out of the bag. If you had these like half moon clips on there, it's important that you just take those off and throw them in the trash or do whatever you're gonna do with them. Uh, just don't put them back on. And, yep. 
And as you're sliding this in, you want to guide your hoses in place. And there we go. Then you want to pull as much hose out there as you can. And what we're going to do is take A and put it on and B and put it on. And for this, we're going to use some more silicone. So as usual, you're going to see me put gloves on because I hate silicone on my hands. And you don't need very much. This is really more of a formality. It will work without the silicone, but really it's proper to use the silicone. So we're going to use the silicone. And side A, side A. And we're just going to twist this on, put it in place. And it doesn't matter if you have too much excess silicone because uh, we are going to just be putting that all together like so. See how that's clipped together? I'm going to do the same on the other side. There's side B. Side B will just go. And if you have a, uh, a rubber mallet, that will be your friend. Now I also took a moment to address the filters and I guess we're going to trim some of this fiberglass off as well. But you just want to address that filter. And that guy's just going to float, go back in here. And then you're just going to tighten the screw down there. That's it. And then you can put this in place as well. And this guy is always horribly loose and stripped out from the factory. So just real quick, hand, hand do these screws. And that's in there how it should be. So those are the filters. And before I put the lid together, the uh, owner of this machine did me the uh, great dishonor of deciding to disassemble everything for me. So yeah, I have to uh, do that. And if uh, I'm trying to remember how this goes, well, the words are going to face you, of course, but the intake is on the smaller side and the, well, the intake of the water and the intake of the air is on this side. So that's, uh, this is the A side, this is the B side. Uh, that's useful to you as well. So put that there and let's see what delightful things that I have in a bag that may or may not need to go. These are all extra pieces from the old kit. The spring, I'll just get that in its place. And it's important to clean this intake filter after every use or so. Um, there's our zip black bag. Um, at this point, we're going to silicone sally these up real quick. Uh, it doesn't matter which side is which. They're, this part's symmetrical. And we're just going to do that. And you might have to adjust, uh, depending on the machine, where these are. plastic thing on. See, it's not cracked. That's how it goes together. How fast that is. Bam. So that's how that goes together. And uh, again, that will just go there. And now it's time to put everything together. And the design of this is, uh, it's pretty simple. 
this goes on like this. Like so, and the whole point of this is that this will float in place. So if the thing is loose when you're done, that is how it should be. So that's all good. Um, we can put the filter like so in. Bam. I just took some of my glove with me. Now this pin is aluminum. Why this is just not steel, I don't know. Maybe corrosion resistance, but um, yeah. So this will go on here like so now, and we gotta put this in. Um, and that's going to be a little bit fun, so we're just going to give it a, a couple drops of oil as we're putting it on, which will allow it to insert itself a little bit easier. And then you'll insert it to the point of where the E-clip is. Let's take a Torx and push it in. All right, we can see that there's an E-clip spot there, and now we can take our E-clip and put that on. And uh, you could use an e-clip tool or you could just be pro and use a screwdriver. Cool. So there's that. You wanna just check it and make sure this is all sealing up good. All right, it's time to test it. Um, just always use a separate water bucket uh, to fill this. We don't need a whole lot of water in here, but let's see how that does. Give this video a thumbs up if it helped you. Really appreciate the viewership. Let's take the machine and my bench is quite stained, so it's gonna get a good workout. Thanks for watching folks. Have yourself a wonderful day.